Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will share with you five types of Louis Vuitton handbags that I would like to avoid. You also can watch my previous video that I talk about the five types of Chanel bags that I would like to avoid. So in today's video, we will talk about the Louis Vuitton. So the first type of the Louis Vuitton I would like to avoid it is the limited edition, that including the collaboration handbags. I know this type of the bag when they first come out they become very hot and those type of the bag they will cost a couple hundred dollars more than the regular one. Louis Vuitton just like Chanel they will release many seasons they come fast they also gone fast I don't mind to add in a couple pieces of the small leather goods so therefore I do have one piece of the limited edition in my collection that is storage pouch 26 I don't even remember the name of the collection but uh, for the handbags I will try not buying those limited edition. So moving on to the next type of the bag I would like to avoid it is the bag with a lot of Vashida leather. So some of the bag on the bottom all the Vashida leather. Uh, I kind of like afraid to use a lot of Vashida leather bags because this kind of leather is not a treat so it's very easy to pick up the the dirt also get the watermark so when I use this type of the bag I have to check the weather whether it's gonna rain or snow so currently I still have one bag that is the speedy 20 you can see on the handles it has the Vashida leather and sometimes I just scared to use this type of the bag which I shouldn't do that bag is supposed to be used so it reminds myself too I have to use this bag now maybe just myself please leave a comment below do you have the same feeling like I have when I see a lot of Vashida leather I just so afraid to use that I would like to have the monogram with the tree the leather like this one I don't need to worry about the weather I don't need to worry about the water I can wear four seasons I can wear at the bad weather day as well so I rather to have this type of the uh, leather instead of of the Vashada leather. Since we are talking about this bag, now moving on to the third type of the bag I try to avoid is this one. This is the lock and uh, I try to not buy any more handbags with this type of the lock because this type of the lock first they are very easy to get a scratch. The second, it's a lock. It's easy to open, but not easy to close. When I uh, can you see, I try to close. I just need to strength to make sure it has the click sound. So this type of the lock, especially when you walking on the street, you try to close the lock. You have to stop and uh, just concentrate, focus on the lock to make sure. To hear the clock then it's closed because many of the time I noticed myself I didn't even close my bag my bag it was like this so I know this lock is not so easy like a Chanel turn lock it's you can close right away this kind of lock you need to spend a little bit of seconds to close. I only keep this bag because I do love the Pichon Matisse so much and the plus it is the only bag with a reverse mono and it's so special so that's why I still have this bag and I'm gonna keep this bag but I just wanted to say I will never ever buy the bag that has this type of the lock. So that's the third type of the bag that I will try to avoid. Number four that is the Louis Vuitton trunk bag and they are so pretty. However, I do feel this type of the bag is not so practical. They are more like a collective piece. The price tag is also very very high. It's like a, you just don't know when to use this type of the bag. Definitely not for the everyday I think. But you know, it's just my personal opinion. I know some of you, you have it. This type of the bag like a petite more and it's so 
pretty bad, right? I love too, but I know it's not so practical and that's why I will never buy those type of other bag. For the Chanel bag, I don't really mind the certain bag. I only can use it as an occasion. But for the Louis Vuitton bag, I want to have a bag that I can use as an everyday bag, work bag, vacation bag, these kind of things. But if I buy the Petit more, I'm probably gonna leave the bag at home and not use for the long time. So the cost per wear is not worth for me to purchase this type of the bag. So I try to avoid it. So the last but not least, I'm gonna summarize the certain material bags from Louis Vuitton. I will definitely avoid one is the venice leather and i know this recent years louis vuitton came out less for the venice leather venice leather also pattern leather i believe they are selling performance not doing so well and i still have one in my collection it is the louis vuitton Amo pm bag it is made by venice or pattern leather i do love it it was a gift for my sister in my very difficult time so it has the sentimental mean to me so that's why I always keep that the second type of the material that I will avoid it is the epi leather epi leather I also have one in my collection it is the Cooney MM I already saw my Amo BB in the epi leather uh, the reason is I didn't notice that the epi leather over the time they will change the shape for some reason they will have a lot of indentation most of the epi leather bag they keep the structure very very well the third reason for the epi leather is they don't hold value and generally speaking Louis Vuitton leather handbag doesn't hold value the other leather is exotic leather the well, first reason they cost us so much money and uh, the second reason is I kind of feel not very comfortable to carry this type of the leather it's just a personal you know personal reason and the third thing is this type of the bag of the leather also need a high maintenance other material that I try to avoid it is the fabric material even though I, I do love Louis Vuitton denim material handbags but however the wear and the tear showing more quicker than the leather or canvas material the last the, the material that I try to avoid that is the sharing material handbag now I always wondering how people take care of those bags once they get dirty how they clean up I always curious to know it looks very warm it looks very comfortable but it's just not for me I mean, this type of the material bags I would like to avoid so those for today's video I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you in the next video thanks bye bye